people often ask me about my routine of writing the column, and, you know, and I and I I try to put it simply as a compilation of the past, the present, and the future, because what <clears throat> what goes into to the next day's column is really based a lot on what I already have a mass in, in information about the person or the subject <clears throat> and the information that I pick up about them today so it will be in tomorrow's column. And the day re really st starts with, with my experience. But during the night I'm always worried about what I write about tomorrow. So I'm always making notes on my nightstand, most of which are totally illegible the next day. And also <clears throat> in the morning uh, when I've read the papers or listened to the radio, or I make a list of things that I think I should investigate news-wise news and make a list of telephone calls to make. And I take that list of calls to make with me to the office, as well as the notes, illegible though they may be, and start my day with making those calls, checking the papers, and also, of course, I do get calls. And uh, so combining both the calls that I make, the calls that I get, the information that I've thought about, uh, put the column together in time for my deadline. Of course, also, it's based on things that are, that are the news that I picked up the night before it, wherever I've gone, whatever event I've attended. I'd get a lot of material at, at industry events, talking to the, <clears throat> to the participants, the honorees, the uh, attendees, the uh, chairman, the co-chairman. Uh, premiers, of course, are always a good source talking to the stars, getting some news from them. Uh, so, you know, it's like the, the tomorrow's column is a compilation of the 24 hours preceding it plus the 50 years of experience.